Alright guys, today I'm going to be going over another Harry Lorraine card trick and also going over the winner of the, uh, the deck giveaway or the red mat giveaway. And uh, anyways guys, here's what the performance looks like. Um, Harry Lorraine, he started off the trick by actually giving the deck a quick shuffle. And then what he did was he told the spectators that at any time he could cut to about seven cards or so. But this looks like a little bit more. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he starts off by saying he can cut to uh, seven cards. And then, you know, he says that anybody can do this. So he gives the deck to the spectator. Um, and she says, or he has her deal down seven, uh, seven packets or seven cards in three piles. So, you know, obviously they're like, they're obviously not going to be seven because this is going to be a spectator doing this. And he has her hold the deck here and he has her put a card in the middle and then here and then back over here. So basically the next card is going to be your guys' card. I'm going to be showing you the card. I don't want to see it. So I'll show you guys the card here. I'm not going to be looking at it. Hopefully you guys can all see your card. And then what you're going to do is let's say, um, you know, you can put the card in the middle of any packet. Let's say we choose this one here. We square this up. Okay, now in the performance, Halo Rain, he didn't, you know, see which packet she put the card in. But let's say we put it here like this. Put it there. And then you put that packet in here. So obviously your card is lost within those three packets and now within the deck. And then let's say we can shuffle up the deck as well. And then we can also take the deck and we'll shuffle it up this way as well. So this way the cards really, you know, kind of get mixed up here. So let's say you mix up the deck a little bit. And at this point, uh, you, you know, your card is going to be seriously lost in the deck. So what I have to do is go through and let's see, I look for your card in the deck. And hopefully your card is going to be right here. So this is the trick. And if you guys want to do it, don't forget to stick on the tutorial. All right. So uh, the winner of the deck giveaway or the actually the red mat giveaway is going to be Benjamin. Um, and considering I only had three other people, people sign up on Patreon, I'm also going to be sending you guys each a uh, spare individual signed card just for signing up. Um, anyways, guys, here's how the actual trick is done, and congrats to the winners of the giveaway. So, you know, you guys can disagree with me on this, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not 100% sure this is how he does the trick, but this is how you can execute the same exact thing he did. So basically what I think he did was he just figured out or he just remembered what uh, whatever card was in the fourth position down from the deck. In this case, let's just use the king of hearts here. Now, what he did in the performance was he did an overhand shuffle, and I'm pretty sure he just kept the top stock. So let's say we overhand shuffle like a packet of cards off, you thumb over, maybe another packet or so, leaving that out jogged a little bit, and you can continue shuffling. And then now where that out jog is, you pick up the deck, you can shuffle a little bit more, and then now you're going to be left with the same card in the fourth position. So then from here, he goes up to a spectator and says, you know, at any time I can cut seven cards. So I think what he's doing here is um, obviously he's showing off a little bit of skill, but he's also kind of presenting or easing his way into the trick. So he says, you know, I can cut to seven cards. He just puts a couple cards down. I don't think this is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm one off, but essentially he does this little gag where he takes, you know, seven cards. And he tells the spectator, you know, you know, anybody can do this. So he hands the deck over to the spectator. He says, try to make seven cards. So all the spectator is doing is really just dealing down from the bottom, trying to deal down around seven cards. Now, I don't think it really matters. And then he has the spectator hold on to the cards. But like I said, I don't think it really matters how many cards are in each packet because he, he never really goes back to the whole theme of um, dealing down exactly seven cards. So... From here, I think he just kind of, he looks at the cards and he says, you know what, uh, place one here. So he places a card down here and he goes, and place one more here. She deals it there and then she puts another one on another packet. So like I said, it doesn't matter. And he says, okay, now look at that top card. So in my opinion, I think all he did was just figure out whatever card is in uh, the fourth position because it doesn't really matter. Obviously, it's only four cards down from the top. So let's say we look at it in this case, you know, it's the king of hearts. We know what it is. And then from here, he's going to turn away and he says, you know, put that card in the middle of any packet you want. And I think she put it back in the middle. So, you know, it'd be really hard for him to have, you know, like a key card in this case, if she's putting it in the middle of any of these packets, like I said, it'd be really, it'd be really difficult to have a, you know, a kind of key card um, maneuver. So she puts the card in there, she squares it up and then she puts the decks on top of each other like this. And she puts the cards in the middle of the deck. So at this point, obviously, it's really easy since you already know, you know, what the spectator's card is. You know, it's the king of hearts. And then he has her shuffle the cards. So no matter what's going on at this point, we still know the card that they're going to pick. So like I said, guys, you guys can disagree with me on this, but I'm pretty sure this is how he does the trick. 
um, only because it is pretty simple. Um, and essentially then he has him or has her, you know, take the cards face up and face down. I don't want to riffle them again because it's take me forever to unweave them. But essentially the cards get mixed up. And then at this point, he spreads the cards. And then all he has to do is look for wherever that King of Hearts is right here. So like I said, guys, this is how I think he does a trick. But yet again, it's a little bit simple. So he probably, you know, did something a little bit different. But like I said, he never goes back to that theme of seven where from the beginning where he says, you know, anybody can cut to seven cards. He never really goes back and, you know, counts the cards, the spectator dealt or whatever. He just kind of plucks the card out of the middle. So I hope uh, this video makes any sense to you guys. And if you disagree, like I said, make sure to go down in the comments and say that. I'll look at all your suggestions. Anyways, guys, if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. She's a literal vampire, belly goblin, hobbling, bound, chasing after your